Welcome back everyone to the Minecraft Parkour Challenge for July of 2023 where this month we are trying to fully ex excavate a a trail ruins without getting blown up by a creeper of course. How about if you think I can kill the creeper or at least lure it Yeah, okay, now let's go. There we go. Let's lure it to a place where it won't do much damage. Okay, good. Yeah, like that. Now... Now that the morning festivities are complete, well, maybe they're not complete because there could always be more creepers, one of my plans is to reduce the possibility of creepers coming and invading and ruining our MHC. So I have here some fences. And I will be placing them all over the place. Now the big problem is that those creepers may decide to drop down from there and attack me that way. And uh, there isn't much I can do about that at the moment. So, this plan is not going to be perfect. But I'll just have to try what I can do. Oops. And go out here. And, oh yes. Now the whole thing about the creeper defense is A, to protect the ruin from the creepers, and B, to protect myself from them. Now I have survived one blast from a creeper already. I still haven't figured out how that happened. But the local soil has not because I'm pretty sure that the soil was... not having that sudden of a drop there that the crafting table was in a much better position <laughs> well okay is that an enderman or was I just imagining things not too sure about that oh yes and I was going towards the crafting table in the first place because I was thinking that maybe I could use a regular axe. So I will make an axe. I know that's a pickaxe, so I'll make a... I, ma I decided to also make a pickaxe because I want... I'm figuring I'm going to be running out of pickaxe quite a bit. So let's see. Let's go and... Oh. Let's see, we've got, I guess I could use this for the moment. It had to be a tall one, right? I wanted to get it out of the way. Alright, good. Now that that tree is no longer disturbing us, Oh, okay. Oh, I have some... Why did it feel like it was dark there? Because I was saying, it can't be night already. And... Hmm. Let's also take down this one. Probably should have a nice, good, flat area. I'm just trying to make sure that area is... Ooh. Why is there no... I have no dirt. Wonderful. Okay. I actually used up all of my dirt for that. And I keep on leaving this door open for some reason. I gotta get out of that habit. So right here we go. There's some dirt. Hmm. 
because I suspect that if a creeper blew up on me in a confined space, I'm not going to be as lucky as I was in a previous episode in surviving the thing. So now, we could do that. Now, actually, we should put this over here, this over here, that over there, that over there. And just get this all around as protected as it can be. Now, we have to go around here. of a canopy there. I know there will be no convenient way of getting up there, but if it's convenient for me, it might be convenient for a creeper. So, I will try to do that for the moment. Now, I'll probably need something really to go out if I'm going to be perfectly safe. But, I just... I need for the moment something that will... Alright, maybe I should have taken two. Piles of... Really? Somehow I've had the impression that I had... Oodles and oodles and oodles of dirt, but apparently... I had to see to myself, and I do not. Well then, it looks like this is going to turn into a little bit more urban in its style. So let's get this all around here, up around here. Look, there's no grass in this section. You should just not worry about it. Alright? Now. <sighs> oh well. If you want to be fenced into an area that has concrete grass in it, that'd be my guess. Okay, okay. It's cobblestone. <sighs> right. Now, where <laughs> well, okay. This is, of course, a major hole in the security. <sighs> A major hole in the security. Well, you were really determined to get here, weren't you? <laughs> Turn my back for a moment and you show me how poor my security is. Uh, let's see. Well, At least I got plenty of cobble. Looks like I am going to have to create a cobble roof over this whole thing. <sighs> well, I guess that's really no really huge shock, isn't it? All right, and I've got more cobble than I really need. I mean the fences in a way, just stage one of the entire effort. Mm. 
you better be happy and appreciate that the only reason you're alive is because this is the MHC and I'm not allowed to kill you. So, uh, how, how are we doing right now? This is uh, late. Mm -hmm. Okay, so. Keep on forgetting about that. <laughs> oh, and I keep on forgetting about that too. I need to find a better way down here, alright, now, because obviously my current system is not working for me in the slightest. Alright, so now, what do we got here? We have got. Yeah, let's put the birch planks away for the moment. Let's put that away for the moment. Oh, white terracotta. More terracotta that I had removed. I think I also removed some gravel that was part of the... Well, we'll assume that the gravel is just something that replaced what was there before. I could consolidate that. I could get rid of the saplings. I may need the fences a little bit more on the fencing. So now I'll probably have to create another chest soon. But now, let us get to excavating. And it looks like we found the depth of this place. At least, that's what I'm thinking. And this seems to be the extent but if that's the extent in that direction, then it's either a very, very small ruin, or it goes quite far in this direction. That's suspicious gravel. Alright. Look at here. So, obviously, it is continuing off in this direction quite a bit. Hmm, how suspicious. Now, let's see what we got here. <sighs> well, obviously, I wasn't careful enough because that was the sound of suspicious gravel cracking. So something was suspended. Cobblestone. So there was a empty point. Cobblestone empty. Suspicious gravel. I clicked next to it and that something fell and broke. Why is there cobblestone there? Now oh, that's concerning. Why is there cobblestone there? I guess we're going to have to investigate that. Is cobblestone something that naturally generates here? That means I obviously can't use a cobblestone as a marker then if cobblestone naturally generates near these ruins. Now we've got all this. This is apparently part of it also. Did it branch out? Oh yes, it branched out. It branched. Okay. Uh, we are going to have to be a little bit more circumspect here and really do this carefully. Now this is the penultimate episode? I know I'm worried about an early death due to Creeper in the penultimate episode. I mean, it won't exactly be an early death to a Creeper, even if I did have a death to a Creeper. I 
Anyways, improving the defenses on the last episode is probably not a good idea. I probably need to spend more time here trying to dig this place out. Well, it's probably just as well. There we go. Now. Ah. How far does this thing go out? Quite a distance. Right, because this was it. So it's underground. Hmm. Yeah, suspicious gravel. So yes, this is definitely part of the structure. Now, too bad I can't do anything with it. Oh, that wire. Oh, if I only had a brush. Maybe I can do an epilogue. Okay, some iron. And by an epilogue, I mean after the challenge is over. I have one that's not officially part of the challenge. One extra episode not officially part of the challenge. And that particular episode... I'll be free of the rule that says I can't kill any passive mobs because the challenge is over. And I'll just make myself a brush in that case. And then we could at least do a few There'd be only be one episode worth on that one for the epilogue. And then we could find out. Alright. See, how would that do? Because see, the episode one is... Posted on July 2nd. That means that the last episode's on... Oh, July 31st. No. On July 30th. That means I could post the epilogue on July 31st. Yes. Okay, that's an idea. That there, there will be an epilogue. And the epilogue will be... Will be... Finding the suspicious... The suspicious gravel and... Trying to see what I could find in there. We sort of think it's the next team over that doesn't have a rule about not killing chickens. Alright. I guess that's the best way I could think about handling the situation. So I want to make sure I have as much as possible uncovered so that in the epilogue we can find out what we would have gotten if we were allowed to dig it out. So let's do that. And we will continue then on digging this whole thing. It is just is it going to just slowly go down every time I think I'm at the end it's just saying oh no it just goes down one more step is is that what it's doing down over here no oh, no because there it's up there oh here it then shifted to the left I suppose it's possible that there is more stuff over on this end right over here be careful because I think That is... Is that just the angle at which I'm looking at this? Because this is... Alright, this is stone. That says that's just stone. Okay, fine. It just looks so strange. Oh, oh no, it, it's... 
Oh no, part of the ruin is over here. Okay. Hmm. Because that is terracotta. Well, 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 well. I'm certainly not going to get this whole thing uncovered. Wish I thought about the whole epilogue thing right at the start. And I could have spent nine episodes trying to get this thing into a position and preparing it for the epilogue. Now another thing I could do is to make an iron axe. Because it looks or I, I mean an iron pickaxe because I've got how much iron do I have now? I got six pieces. Yeah. There, let's make sure there isn't anything slipping by diagonally like over here. Yes? Anything here? That was quite a significant find from the iron department. And how am I do? Oh, I am over, aren't I? Well, that's the end of this episode of the Minecraft Hardcore Challenge 4. July 2023. And in our next episode, we are going to be making some new tools. And probably doing a lot of digging here in the Minecraft Hardcore Challenge for July 2023.